Precision Retrofits and today we got a quick video uh, that a lot of you guys have kind of been asking about on the tow mirrors for this this spans for the 2015 to current F-150 tow mirrors and it is also for the 2017 and up Super Duty tow mirrors. They're pretty much the same same, same exact mirrors they just have a couple different um, design features but today we're kind of just going to show you how to pop the glass off so you can get to the uh, mirror lens on the back side um, and then take off the backing and such so you can get to that mirror lens right here um, so you can get this out and either swap it out or you know just replace it for whatever reason. So um, we have an extra mirror that we have here. This one was painted quite a while ago and it's just been sitting around. So don't mind the paint paint chips, whatever. This is just an extra mirror that we have. So we'll, we're going to use it for um, instructional purposes. But in order to get these apart, the first thing you got to do is get this glass here popped off so that you can get to the screws that are, there's I believe five screws on the back side that will take that backing off. So what you want to do here first is you have this, you have this glass piece right here. And if you tilt the glass up so that this corner here is at its highest point, then you can see on the inside right here. So there's a piece, and I, I try to point it out. Um, there's a little groove on the inside here that you want to try to get. You're, you need a pretty long, flathead, skinny screwdriver so that you can get it in here and stick it in that slot um, so that you can twist in order to pop the glass off. So once you have this screwdriver in that slot, all you have to do pretty much is just kind of twist so you can get that glass to pop. Okay, don't don't try to pry up um, and, and don't try to kind of move the glass in any direction. Just try to twist, get the flathead on the screwdriver to twist so that you can get this just to release here. Because if you start to pry up and stuff like that, that's when you can bend the glass and and break it. So once you get that pretty much popped for the first one, then just try to kind of try to work your way around and do the same thing. And you should get it to where you can uh, get the whole glass off like so. And then most mirrors will have some sort of wiring on the back side, either for the heated or the blind spot. So this one just has these two up top here. And you just unplug that. And there's your top piece of glass. For the bottom, the, it's kind of the same idea, except for the groove is on, you want to have the screwdriver coming in from this top inside corner here. So again, same idea. There's a groove in here. It might be kind of hard to see on the camera, but same thing. Just try to get in there and twist your screwdriver. Again, try not to pry it up. Just, just kind of twist so you can get that to pop a little bit. And then same thing, just has a couple things here. Um, but that groove I'm talking about on this one is right here. You can kind of see the things. So you're getting your screwdriver in like that and twisting. Just twisting so it can release from the, from the bracket here. And then the groove on the top one is right on the bottom here. You can see, so you're getting your flathead in and twisting just like that okay so once you have the glass off then you just have the five screws on the inside they're seven millimeter um, screws five of them uh, let's go ahead and loosen all those up okay so once you get your five screws once you get your five screws out then you can go ahead and uh, there's some clips on the inside of the mirror cap here that you can see. There's three that you can get to and that's pretty much all you need for now. But these right here, you just want to go ahead and kind of separate from the mirror. 
like so. And this was the easiest. If you don't have the mirror, obviously most of the time the mirror will be on the truck, so you won't have to worry about that. But it's easiest if you don't have any pressure on the back side of the cap, so you can get this separate, kind of like so. And then, once you have that released, the next step is there's some kind of little baby clips right here where they join on the arms here. So we'll go ahead and get a smaller flathead. And the way that we undo these here is kind of just get under it and try to pry up a little bit and try to keep your hand up here so you can keep the piece back enough so it doesn't try to pop back into place. Same thing on the bottom here. Get, get that to release. And once you have that released, you should be good. There's a, uh, if you have the puddle light or something on the bottom, there's either a puddle light or, and or a sensor on the bottom. Um, you want to go ahead and get that out. So there's just a little tab up here that you're going to get in. Pry out. Go ahead and unplug that. And then, again, try to get this bottom one out. So then once you get that puddle light out, you can go ahead and make sure all your clips are popped back out again. And you should be able to just, this should just fall off. Um, this one's a little bit stickier because we had uh, this mirror light on. So, but it pretty much serves the same purpose. It'll just fall right off like that. And then you can get to your mirror light from there. Again, this one has, this one has switchback strips in it. Obviously, if factory mirror, you won't have that. It'll just be this part of the mirror here. So once you get that back plate off, this mirror light should just come out, pop out right like that. And then you have access to either switching this out or just, you know, replacing a broken one, whatever it may be. And then, you know, if you're switching mirror caps, this is, this is also a, a nice way to do the mirror caps if you don't want to end up breaking. There's a tab on the inside here that you can't get to unless you do take the backing all the way off. So um, if you are swapping mirror caps, then easiest way to take, take them off is popping the glass out, doing the same process. And then you'll just have th this one extra tab on the inside here, and then, the, and then your mirror cap will come off as well. So um, that's pretty much it as far as this goes, as far as reinstallation. It's pretty much the same thing, just go just go backwards and then, you know, button everything back up, make sure everything snaps right back into place and get your screws back in. And then as far as popping the glass right back in, just make sure it's lined up and uh, should we actually go through that? So once you're ready to get everything back in, again, you'll just snap this right back into place, put your screws back in, make sure you put your mirror light in, obviously, um, they'll just go right back in same way they came out and make sure you plug everything in as far as plugging the mirror light back in and getting your puddle light plugged back in then your screws and then once you go to pop the glass back on it's really not difficult at all um, all you got to do is make sure your glass is centered on the motor motor here and then all you're going to do is press straight down on it okay. And then it's installed. Same thing for the bottom, just make sure these right here are lined up perfectly on here. Obviously, plug these back in. I'm not gonna plug them in because we're gonna leave the mirror apart for obvious reasons. So um, just take this, punch it back on, and you're set. So again, 
it's not too difficult. Just make sure you take your time, especially on the glass here. Just make sure you're not prying up uh, in any direction so you're not putting any stress on the glass because that's how you break the glass. Find the right slots, uh, twist your screwdriver perfectly and the glass should, will just pop right off. And then for the back in here, you really don't need to pry too hard in any direction in order to get any of this off. So take your time, don't break any plastic, and uh, you'll have everything off uh, in a matter of seconds. So uh, if you guys got any questions on this, just let us know. If you want any other instructional videos on certain things here and there, um, just again, let us know. We'll be happy to film them. So, uh, so yeah, just let us know if you guys have any other questions, any other install video ideas and we'll be sure to get back to you and, and get some more, more stuff uploaded here for you guys. So uh, thanks for watching.